This is one of multiple videos discussing IPv6 routing. In a previous video, I configured these two routers to use static IPv6 routes using the local outgoing interface. What I'll do in this topology is remove that serial interface and connect these routers using a Ethernet interface. So at the moment, show IPv6 interface brief shows us that this address is configured on the serial interface. So what I'll do is go onto the serial interface and type no IPv6 address. So now we don't have an IPv6 address configured on the serial interface. I'll do something similar on this side. No IPv6 address. The show IPv6 interface. We can see that the loopback is configured with an IPv6 address, but no other addresses have been configured on any interfaces. So what we'll do now is no shut the fast ethernet interface and configure the IP version 6 address on the ethernet interface. So IPv6 address and the specific address. Show IPv6 interface. Shows us that this interface is up up. The link local address used is this. The global unicast address used is this. The router has joined all hosts on the local segment and all routers on the local segment, multicast groups, and has joined some other groups as well. Show IPv6 interface brief. Shows us the link local address as well as the global unicast address configured on the router. Show IPv6 route. Shows us connected route and local route. Link local addresses are not added to the routing table. We also see information for the loopback that was previously configured. So on this side, interface F0 slash zero, no shut, IPv6 address, 2001 colon one colon colon two slash 64, ping 2001 colon one colon colon one. Router two is able to ping router one using the fast ethernet interface. Show IPv6 route only shows connected and local routes in the routing table. And that's true on both routers. Now a static route does exist in the running config, but that's not used because the local interface has gone down. But what I'll do here is remove that route. We can do the same on this side. So no IPv6 route. To remove the route, show IPv6 route again shows us that we only have local and connected routes in the routing table. So to allow router two to ping the loopback of router one, what we would do is type IPv6 route, specify the destination network, which is 2001 colon face colon one colon colon slash 64. We can specify an interface or the next hop IP address. So the next hop IP address is gonna be 2001 colon one colon colon one. And we can specify an administrative distance for the route. I'm not gonna do that show IPv6 route. We now have the static route in the routing table and we should be able to ping 2001 colon face colon one colon colon one. And we can. Can router one ping the loopback of router two? Not at the moment. We have to configure a route. So, two, so IPv6 route 2001 face two slash 64 Specify next hop of 2001, one, two. So can we ping 2001 face two, one? Yes, we can. Show IPv6 route. 
shows us the static route in the routing table, but in this example, it's via the next hop IP address. Same is true over here. So that's different to the previous example where I configured the IPv6 static route using the local outgoing interface of the router. So that was an example of how to configure IPv6 static routes. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.